Hey there, and welcome to our video on how to reprogram your mind like a computer. In this video, we're going to be discussing important concepts from psychology and philosophy that can help you better understand how your mind works and how you can optimize it for success. To start things off, we're going to be discussing the concepts of System 1 and System 2, as introduced by Daniel Kahneman in his book, Thinking Fast and Slow. According to Kahneman, System 1 is our automatic, intuitive way of thinking that helps us make quick decisions without much effort. On the other hand, System 2 is our more deliberate, analytical way of thinking that requires effort and concentration. By understanding the interplay between these two systems, we can better control our thought processes and make better decisions. For example, when we're facing a complex problem, we can use System 2 to carefully analyze the situation and arrive at a thoughtful solution. There are two immediate problems, however, to overcome. First, we have to know that this system exists in order to master it. Second, System 2 is usually lazy, by evolutionary design, by the way. The human biosystem is designed to conserve energy, and System 2 uses a lot of brain power, so it's naturally inclined to let System 1 run things automatic. Now let's shift gears and talk about the concept of self-remembering as introduced by Gurdjieff and Uspensky. They suggested that we often operate on autopilot like machines, going through our day-to-day -day routines without much conscious thought. However, by practicing self-remembering, we can bring our attention back to the present moment and cultivate a greater sense of awareness. This process involves observing our thoughts, emotions, and physical sensations without judgment. By doing so, we can better understand ourselves and our automatic reactions, System 1, and consciously reprogram our minds to react in more positive ways. So, how do these two concepts tie together? By understanding the interplay between System 1 and System 2, and practicing self-remembering, we can better control our automatic thoughts and impulses, and make more deliberate decisions that are in line with our goals and values. Well, that's it for today's video. We hope you found this information helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content like this. Thanks for watching.